Hello, this is T. Chapman 500 with a demonstration of Captain Newman's origin shift algorithm implemented using the Unity engine. Now what's going on in the background is that we have an origin node being moved about a grid of cells to generate a maze by creating a connection from the cell it's moving from to the cell that it's moving to. These are one-way connections and moving in the opposite direction of a connection. We'll take you back to the origin. If the origin moves into a cell that already has an outbound connection, then the outbound connection is removed, preventing any loops from forming. Now, Captain Lumen invented this algorithm for a Minecraft maze generator that can dynamically change a maze as you are trying to solve it. This maze generator can also take a perfect maze as a starting point and modify it for a set amount of time before finally stopping. Direct the way Captain Lumen initialized the maze was to set all of the cells to connect to their east neighbor, except for the cells on the east side of the maze. Those cells connect to their south neighbor, except for the cell in the southeast corner, which has no outbound connections. For the program I wrote, however, I initialize all of the cells to not have any connections, and then I pick a cell at random to be the initial origin cell, then move that cell about the maze randomly to generate the maze. There really is no right or wrong way to generate a maze, it's just that Captain Lumen, being a bit restricted by how bulky redstone circuits can be, opted for the simplest possible solution, inventing the solution as needed. I simply initialized the maze to not have any starting connections, just to see if my guess that it could generate a perfect maze from nothing was correct, which it turned out to be correct. I also believe that this algorithm can be used to fix a maze, to make it a perfect maze. I should point out, however, that if you initialize the maze to not have any connections between any of the cells, you will have to wait until the origin visits every cell in the maze before maze generation is technically complete. With Captain Newman's implementation method, the maze is initialized with all of the cells visited, and it's just a matter of how thoroughly do you want the maze to get mixed up before you start running it. It's correct. Now, the run that's being shown in the background actually took an average of about 30 iterations per cell to complete, or about 20 minutes at 60 hertz. I'm not going to show the entire process since that would take about another 15 minutes, so we're just going to go to another clip where I removed the frame rate cap. With this iteration, we are still running one iteration per frame, but the frame rate is now not tied to the refresh rate of my monitor. Don't be fooled by how fast it looks like the maze is being generated, because as more and more cells get generated, it gets slower and slower, filling in the rest of the cells. This iteration took about five minutes. Now, of course, I'm not really satisfied with how long this is taking to generate a maze, especially if I cap the speed at the game's frame rate, or especially at the refresh rate of my display. So, I implemented a variation of the depth first search algorithm. For this implementation, we still select a random cell as the origin cell, but instead of moving the origin cell, we move the reference cell. When we move the reference cell, we create a connection going back to the previous reference cell, which starts as the origin cell, so that if we get stuck, we can backtrack towards the origin cell and always find a way to generate more of the maze. If I now, by forming the connection back in the opposite direction, we guarantee that all of the cells 
point to the origin cell when we switch from the depth first search algorithm to the origin shift algorithm. For this, it takes about two iterations per cell every time this algorithm is run to generate a perfect maze every time. Now the disadvantage to using this algorithm is that you really can't use it in Minecraft without making a massive redstone circuit, which by the way has to be copied on a per cell basis. Here's another iteration of the algorithm running here. And by the way, you can actually download this program for free on itch.io and I even have the source code for this program on GitHub. Links to those are in the description as well as a link to Captain Lumen's original video where he explains the implementation of the origin shift algorithm. Oh, and by the way, my program technically doesn't have a quit button, so if you want to quit, press Alt F4 and it'll quit normally. By the way, the two algorithms that I've mentioned in this video that are used to initialize the maze you can switch between them in the program by pressing shift space guaranteed or just press space without pressing shift and you will be able to generate a new maze from scratch with the same algorithm as last time. Um, press the 6 key on your keyboard to hide or show walls and press the 7 key on your keyboard to hide and show nodes and connections. Also once the maze is done generating, regardless of which algorithm you used, it will be modified using the origin shift algorithm. Also, if you so choose, you can help contribute to this project by making pull requests on my GitHub page linked in the description. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. This is T Chapman 500 signing off.